So this book is called Giving Thanks, and it's about the 1621 Harvest Feast, and it's by Katie Waters, and photographs are by Russell, Russ Kendall. So this is in co cooperation with Plymouth Plantation. Plymouth Plantation is kind of a special place. It's in Plymouth, and there are actors there that pretend to be the pilgrims and the Native Americans, and so you can really go there and see what life was like, which is really cool. And the book has real pictures from there, so that is Awesome. Also really cool. And I think this talks about, oh yes, so we have a Native American, his name is Dancing Moccasins, and this is a pilgrim, and his name is Resolved White. Autumn 1621. Sometime between September 21st and November 9th, 1621, the English colonists, whom we call pilgrims, and the Wampanoag people shared a harvest celebration. Through time, stories and popular myths have evolved around this event which has come to be known as the first Thanksgiving. But this is the story of what may have happened during those days, as told by Dancing Moccasins, a 14-year-old Wampanoag boy, and Resolved White, a 6-year-old English boy. So on this page, it talks about what the Native American is doing, and this page, it talks about what the Pilgrim is doing. Dancing Moccasins. It is autumn and almost time for my family to move to our winter home. Some of our corn and beans have been taken back to our village. Some will be stored at the home site until next spring. I help dig the storage pits. My little brother helps me carry a sack of corn to the pit. Our family has some dried fish, and we will continue to hunt and fish during the winter. I thank Keaton, our creator, for the plentiful harvest and good hunting. So the Native Americans didn't have the same gods that the pilgrims did. Resolved. We have gathered in our harvest. Our house is fitting up against the winter. We have salted fish stored in barrels. Traces of corn hang in the rafters. Now it is time to celebrate. We will feast and play. We will rejoice that the hard work of bringing in the harvest is finished and give thanks that the harvest was plentiful. My mo mother says I can go play stool ball with my friend Bartle while she cooks. We follow my uncle Gilbert and the other men who are going fowling. So it looks like they're going to go hunt some birds. Dancing Moccasins. This morning, as I walk through the forest around our home site looking for deer tracks, my father and grandfather will take deer for food and use the hides for new clothes and blankets for our family. I hear constant musket fire in the distance. We often hear one or two shots, but this is unusual. It has scared the deer away. I go to the edge of the forest to see what the English are doing. I've seen them many times before, but they have never noticed me. Today, some of the children are playing a game. A red-haired boy hits the ball, and it lands near me. Resolved. I throw the ball, but I miss the stool broadly. It lands near the feet of an Indian boy who is standing at the edge of the forest. He throws the ball back to me. I n know him not, but I give him greeting. He answers back in his tongue. I see him surveying our men-at-arms and the cleared field. I run to tell my friend Bartle, but when we look back, the boy has disappeared into the forest. I wonder why he watches us. Dank, dancing moccasins. I run right back to our home site to report the activity of the English, in the English village. I rarely see the English children playing, and the men are shooting at targets instead of hunting animals. I also tell my father about the deer yards I found at the edge of the forest. Just then, a tall man comes up the path. He is a messenger from Massasoit, bringing news that our sachem is journeying to visit the English. He wants fa father to join the group in the morning. I wonder why Massasoit goes to visit the English. Resolved. Although I watch the forest, the Indian boy does not show himself again. Past midday, my uncle Gilbert comes out of the forest with many ducks. He asks me to carry them home. Play is done for the day. I sit outside to pluck the fowl. Feathers fly all around. A messenger from Poconok comes to our house to, and asks for my stepfather. I hear him say that Massasoit, his wife, and many men are on, on their way to visit our village. My stepfather is cur curious. What is the purpose of King Massasoit's visit, he wonders out loud. Dancing Moccasins Father said that I may join him and travel with Massasoit and our people tomorrow. I have never been into the English village. I wonder how they will greet us. Resolved. Before I sleep, I draw one more pail of water for Mother. She is already preparing food to, for tomorrow, when our governor will entertain Massasoit at his table. I know not whether to rejoice or fear for tomorrow. Dancing Moccasin. 
At daybreak, father and I set off toward the village. I ran ahead to catch up to Massasoit and his men. Resolved. Since sunup, I have ground corn and fetched wa water. Mother sends me to gather kindling at the edge of the forest. Suddenly, I see a mighty sight. Massasoit is here, and there are many men with him. Dancing Moccasins When we reach the edge of the forest, I hear a drum. The English leader is coming to meet us. He bows to our sachem. Resolved. King Massasoit greets Master Bradford, our governor. The musketeers salute like salute the visitors like royalty. Dancing moccasins. Massasoit sends several hunters to get a get deer as a gift for the English. Father sends me too, since I tracked deer nearby yesterday. Resolved. Mother has gone to our governor's house to oversee dinner. I peek through the window and see my stepfather, Master Bradford, Massasoit, and other important men at the table. Their food is finer than anything I've seen since leaving home. Both the governor and the ki king give thanks for the food. Dancing Moccasins The hunt was successful. We have returned with five deer which were given to the English. I help set the fire pits and gather poles and furs to build our shelter. This is where we will eat and sleep during our vi visit. Some native children are, sorry, this is resolved. Some native children are playing a game. They are Havamok's family and live close to us. The boy I saw in the forest is with them. Dancing moccasins. Some of our young children are playing the pin game. The red-haired English boy is watching. I call him and show him how to play. He is not very good at first, but this game takes practice. Resolved. Later, I watch some of our men and the, some of the native men pitching the bar in the street. Each wants to be the strongest and throw the log, log the farthest. You can see the log is way up there. He had thrown it. Resolved. As the sun lowers, I sup with some of the other village children and their families. There is venison and duck and goose and pom pompion and samp. Dancing moccasins. Father and I cook some venison and talk about this day. I am glad he allowed me to join him. Dancing Moccasins Later, Father leads the singing. He uses singing sticks to keep the time. Some of the men dance to the song. They do the warrior's dance. I can see the English boy watching from the hill. Resolved, Mother calls me home. I help her cook since the celebration will last several days. As swiftly as I can, I grind the corn for samp while Mother roasts one of the ducks I plucked. At last, she allows, allows me to walk down to where my uncle is standing watch. I listen to the singing and watch the dancing. Dancing Moccasins Everyone else is asleep, but I am excited to be away from home and among the men. This has been an eventful day for me. I wonder what the next days will be like here among the English. I hope I can explore the village more. I thank Keaton for showing me the deer tracks and for my part in the successful hunt. Wamanook, be well. Resolved. My stepfather fetches me home. I tell him about the boy who showed me the game. He says our visitors will be here for several day, days. I say my prayers and give special thanks for the days of celebration. Perhaps I will spend time with my new friend tomorrow. This is the most wonderful, wondrous time since we arrived in this new land. Good night. God keep you. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it.